The whole point of using AI powered search to filter nodes is to find the nodes you're looking for without having to memorize and use the intricate Boolean and advanced search codes. <laughs> but what if I told you that learning how the Boolean and the advanced search work will make your AI powered search easier and better? I'm not telling you to learn how both work, there's no point in that, but you should understand how they work. Let me show you what I mean. This is Evernote's Boolean search help page. There's a video here explaining how it works, but what do you wanna learn here are the three uh, operators, and there's also the parentheses, but let's talk about the operators. You have and, so let's say you wanna find all nodes that have tags A and B. You can use tags A and tag B. Evernote will show you only nodes that have both tags. If you use or instead of and, you end up with nodes that have both tags, nodes that have only the tag A, and also nodes that have only the tag B. And there is also the not. Not is used to, let, let's use the same example. I, have, I wanna find nodes that have the tag A, not tag B. This means that Evernote will show you only the nodes that have the tag A, but not the nodes that have tag A and tag B. And also the parentheses, this is more <laughs> for kind of equations. You can group things. For example, you can say and use the parentheses and, and, and inside the parentheses, you can use nodes with tag A and tag B, and then outside the parentheses, you, you can use not tag C. So the first group is one thing, and not tag C is another thing. And, and you can go crazy here. <laughs> There's a lot that you can do. Anyway, the important learning here is that you can combine elements, you can exclude elements, and you can search for both or more elements in the node. So let's move to the advanced search. This is the help page of the advanced search syntax. You'll find the links to both pages in the description below. I'm not gonna go through all these operators. I do have some videos here on the channel about them. I stopped recording them because it looks like it, they were not so popular. <laughs> so if you want me to resume that, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, these are operators that you type inside the search box. I'm gonna use just two as examples here. The first one I wanna talk about is entitle. This is used to look for words or multiple words in the notes title. Here in the example, you can see entitle column coffee. This will show all notes that have the word coffee on their titles. And let's uh, take a look at another one here, stack. This is used to uh, filter stacks or look for information inside stacks. What I'm gonna do now is use some of this uh, advanced search terms to perform some searches and compare them to asking the same thing to the AI powered search. What I'm trying to say here is that Evernote has all these spaces inside the app where the search, the search box looks for information. We have the title, the note content, emails, dates, tags. There are so many. I don't even know how to call this spaces, things that the search looks for. To have an idea of what I'm talking about, open the notes filter and scroll and you see many, many, many possible options. All those are parameters that the search uses. And the advanced search has even more options. So that's why I'm also telling you to take a look at that advanced search page. If you don't know how AI powered search works, go check this video. It's pretty interesting. Evernote search and all the variations that I'm talking about here today, 
they play a very important role on AI powered search. Okay, let's take a look at some examples here. Let's use the entitled search operator. I'm going to use the word Apple. So Evernote will return all nodes that have Apple on their titles. And here we have it. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but believe me, they all have Apple on their title. So we have here 27 notes. Now let's move to the AI powered search. Tools containing the word Apple. Let's see if this is going to work. <laughs> there we have it. 27 nodes. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Let's go to the filter. Um, agile. Let's take a look at the tags here. So there's one node here with the tag Agile and Team. So I'm going to write a Boolean search showing me all the nodes with the tag Agile, but not the ones that have the tag Team. And I should end up with six nodes. So let's do it. Tag Agile, not tag Team. Okay, six nodes. Okay, future me here editing the video. Did you notice what just happened? I, I had to stop here. I entered the Boolean search inside the search box with the AI powered search selected. So maybe we can use the AI powered search and the advanced search with AI powered search selected. I'll have to do more tests but yeah let's not open that can of worms today <laughs> let's go back to the video let's try the same now using the ai powered search but not with the tag teams it's teams or team i think it's teams No, it's team. So let's try it again. <laughs> team. And it's not tab, it's tag. <laughs> okay, I made some changes here. I created a stack. And as you can see here, we have inside the teamwork stack, seven notes inside the agile notebook and 27 inside the scrum notebook. So 27 plus seven, this is 34. So let's start with show. Whoops. Show me all notes in the team work stack. Okay. 34. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now, uh, check this. If we go back to the notebooks, I think there is a tag here, not here. Uh, maybe inside Agile. Okay, we have two nodes with the Kanban tag. I believe these are the only two nodes. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't see anyone. So 34 minus 2, 32. Two. Is there another one? Okay, let, let me look for them here. It's better. Kanban. Okay, no, no one. There's no node here. Back here, Gile. Kanban. Okay, three. So 34 minus 3, 31. Stack. I'm, I'm using the advanced search stack team work. Not if you want to try this, the operators, the Boolean search operators, they always have to be in capital letters, not tag Kanban. So what I'm trying 
to filter here are all the nodes inside the teamwork stack minus the tag the, minus the ones that have the tag Kanban, and the result should be 31. And there it is. Now let's do it using the advanced search, uh, uh, AI powered search. I mean, show me notes. Team. I'm using the quotation marks here, but I don't even know if I have to. Stack that don't have the Kanban tag. Kanban tag. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> 31. No Kenban tag. Let's try it without. Uh, let's remove this. Teamwork. And also. Whoops. Let's see if it's going to work like this. No. Hmm. Interesting. This is this was a real time learning. <laughs> I didn't expect that. But this is weird because uh, on the other example, I didn't use the quotation marks. Maybe they matter here just because the teamwork, uh, the stack teamwork has two words. Let's remove the quotation marks uh, just from here, Kanban, and see if it's gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that was something good to learn. The quotation marks are required when using the advanced search if there is more than one word. So maybe you always have to use it when searching for more than one word uh, when performing an AI powered search. Anyway, I, I think this is pretty cool, and I think you should go take a look at the two pages, the Boolean search and the advanced search. You'll find the links in the description below. And I'll also link the, the advanced search videos I already have uh, here in the channel. And if you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon or becoming a YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.